We're going to start with Barry Jackson from the Miami Herald. Barry, go ahead. Thanks, Cam. Sorry, I had to I had to unmute. Uh, hi, Jonathan. Want to ask yeah. you about special teams. Uh, who's in the mix at the moment for punt and kickoff returns? And what have you seen that you've liked uh, in those two spots to this point? Yeah, obviously uh, trying to find that guy at punt returner, especially with the, the um, issues we had that with that last year. Um, Tyreek has has been back there. Uh, Restrepo, Rambo, uh, Harley. Again, we're trying to get every guy as many opportunities to catch a, a live punt in practice and, and catch it out of the jugs, pre-practice, post-practice, whenever we got to catch balls. Uh, we knew that was an issue. We got to address that issue. Um, but I, I like Tyreek back there right now. I think he's smooth. He's natural. He's done it. He did it uh, in, in the past. Um, and then I think Restrepo is a natural uh, punt returner as well. So I like those two guys. But it, it's a constant battle. And we're constantly rolling guys. Coach Robinson is doing a great job, really detailing it out with those guys, not letting them relax at all. Um, constantly back there with them, coaching them uh, how, to, how to catch punts. And then on the kickoff return, um, uh, kind of the same story, uh, looking for an electric guy back there, a little bit different job um, as far as fielding a, a kickoff, but still a large job. Um, I like Tyreek back there. Um, I like uh, Harley has been good. I, I thought he has a natural feel of returning and, and finding the space. But Restrepo, Jalen Knighton, I think he could do it back there. Don Chaney, um, you know, I, I always say uh, kickoff return is more of an offensive play, reading the play. So backs are usually good in that situation. So, again, we're trying to roll as many guys as we can back there and catching live balls um, through spring. And really, you know, everything is filmed and we're going to watch – how guys catch it, how many they put on the ground, and really make a decision uh, going forward after after we're done with spring. Coach, we've got Manny Navarro from the Athletic. Manny, hey, Coach Packy, uh, congrats on the uh, on the on the switch and, and all the success from last year with uh, with your kickers and punters. Um, wanted to ask you uh, about Borgales, uh, the younger one, obviously, how he's sort of adjusting uh, to the college game. <clears throat> and his brother mentioned yesterday how he's working himself Jose was working a lot on on hang time on kickoffs wondering what Andy's sort of focusing on early uh, you know areas where you see like okay we need him to get better here so that he's ready for uh, for the college game yeah Andy um, coming in is is such a experienced kicker for to be a, a, a new you know a early enrollee he feels like he's an older guy just because he obviously he's he's been with his brother for so long and he's kicked for so so many years um, doing camps He's kicked off the ground in high school. So he, he's really above his time. Uh, but right now, it's just getting used to the protection, our cadence, uh, a new holder, obviously, that, he, you know, getting used to, to Lou and, and just working with our team and, and being part of that room. You know, it's a good competition right now. You know, I always say that the best guy will play. So him and Camden are going at it. I think competition breeds the best in, the, in all of us. So, those guys going at it, taking reps with each other. Um, but the room is good. He, he fits right in. You know, just like his brother, they're natural competitors. They, they really compete with themselves each and every day. Um, it, it's fun to see those guys compete. Um, and then, yeah, you know, Jose had a great day yesterday. I thought his kickoffs were outstanding. Awesome. Coach, we're going to go to David Lake at 24-7 Sports. David? Hey, Coach, was just wondering if you could review how the inside linebackers did in the scrimmage and just curious what you could provide in terms of who are you, who is working most with the ones? Is it a big rotation or, or is there some uh, separation there, I guess? Yeah, you know, going first off, I'm excited to be with the inside backers. Um, it's, it's been a joy to go in that room and really get my hands on with those guys. We got a great group of, of young men uh, playing inside backers, so – it's been fun through the first eight practices. So right now it's, it's a constant rotation, you know, at, at Mike, you know, you got BJ, an older guy, you got Corey flag. Uh, those guys are rotating in, you know, I, I try to roll them in different groups every time. Um, Tariq Austin cave is running uh, with Mike's as well. So his athleticism shows up, you know, obviously behind uh, BJ and age. So uh, just learning, understand the defense, what we're trying to accomplish um, at will. Uh, you know, it's kind of weird. We, we, 
we have older guys, then we have young guys behind them. So you have Steed, which has been here a while, a guy that knows the defense, knows exactly what to do. Um, and then you got Avery Huff coming along at Will Linebacker that, that I think he's made great strides this spring. I would say he's one of the guys that stand out in my mind mentally that um, has really picked it up mentally and understanding what we're trying to accomplish and, and just getting the line right, understanding what his job is, because as we know, he's a great athlete. Um, so mentally, he, he's got to catch up. And I thought he, he has done a good job up to up to now doing that. Um, and I think Corey Flagg, you know, same thing. He He's a great, savvy football player, very instinctive. So him and BJ going at it, I think, like I said, the competition between them two um, really makes the best out of both of them. So those guys have been good. You know, the young, you know, young Troutman, that early enrollee, you know, one thing I saw from him in the scrimmage is he, he was physical. He, he tackles. He's not scared. Um, he made a lot of plays. He, he, he was really productive uh, when he went in there. So it was really good to see out of him. You know, I, it, it's I don't think the spotlight's too big when he's in there. I think he just runs and plays. And what we said in this first scrimmage is we want to see guys run and tackle and, and just be physical at the point of contact, stop the run. And I thought we did that for the most part at inside linebacker, which was good to see. Coach, we're going to go to David Ferronis at the South Florida Sun Sentinel. David? Hey, Coach. I wanted an update on, on Sam Brooks, uh, how you see him progressing this spring. Sam's uh, – Sam's good, you know, obviously dealt with a, with a toe injury last year. So still getting, getting treatment on that. Um, but you know, Sam, we know Sam can play. He's played at a high level at the end of his freshman year, um, banged up last year. So we got to get him healthy and get him, get him running full speed again. But we know Sam's a great player and he, he will be the mix. Coach last hand I've got up is Chris stock from inside the U Chris, go ahead. Yeah, I was curious if you could touch more on um, Corey Flagg, it, just his development over the last year to kind of put himself in that battle um, th this spring. And then also just clarification, Troutman, uh, is he weak side? Um, yeah, so we got Troutman at Will Linebacker right now. Um, and then Corey Flagg, his development, you know, a guy that lives in this building, I mean, lives in the film room, lives in the weight room, lives with Kyle, our nutritionist, has changed his body. Um, he knew he got a little heavy, came back, has, has just lived in the weight room, has really changed his body, the way he moves. And again, his, his instincts and your instincts is driven by his preparation. So he's constantly preparing um, in the film room, constantly preparing ahead of time with, with what defenses are going in. So the guy, he's just a ball junkie. Um, and, and I think that's driven from where he comes from, a great program, a winning program. He wants to win. He's a great competitor. Um, so it, it's fun to watch him out there. Um, like I said, him and him and Avery have, have kind of sh showed up in a big way this past weekend. But not to say that they all didn't do do their part. I thought I thought Steve played really well. I thought BJ played well. So it's fun. It, it's a great competition. I told him that when I got into the room, when I got in, when I took him took over the inside linebackers, I said we we got to play better. Um, we got to be more physical. We got to stop the run. And whoever's going to do that the best will play. So. They understand what's that line on, on uh, what's what's that state. So it, it's been fun, but those guys have, have really shown up. Awesome. Coach, thanks for spending a few minutes with us today, and I'm sure we'll be talking to you soon. All right. Appreciate you.